Welcome back everyone. Okay, I've had some people ask me about my homeschool year this year and sharing the curriculum like I did last year. And that video is coming, I promise. I just do not have everything gathered together in one place yet. We also do a special first day of school with school supplies that are surprises for my kids. So I don't want to spoil it by posting that video up before we actually start school. And we will be starting at the end of August. But I do have some other awesome news. I have a book coming out. It will be only available for Kindle, so it's only an ebook. Um, but I'm very excited about it. It is called Homeschooling Your Way, and it is a field guide to intuitive planning. So keep an eye on that. That should be out next week, and I will do a big announcement and let everyone know it will be extremely affordable and it's just it's a collection of little conversations that I've had with people throughout the years and just how I do my homeschooling how we plan and how we do our first day and there's um, a conversation in there about when you feel like your children are behind and it's just it's my heart in regards to homeschooling on paper so stay tuned for that but I did want to go ahead and do a different kind of haul because I know you guys are wanting to see something. And I just got back from Jerry's Artorama and picked up some new art supplies and journaling goodies. And so I wanted to share those with you. I also went to Target. So I will show, I will do a show and tell on what's from Jerry's Artorama and what's from Target. And actually, I will start with Target. Okay, first thing which I am super super thrilled to have found and so excited about those of you who know me know that I love elephants look at this Target had these in the school section in the back but this was the aisle for teachers and aren't they the cutest thing they're little elephant paper clips seriously when okay I also picked up a two pack of my favorite pens the Pentel Energels. I also found another really cool thing like the elephant paper clips. I've never seen this before and I am super in love with it and I will give you guys a flip through once I actually dive into it um, to show you what I'm gonna use it for. But this is a composition notebook that has been separated into three subjects. So I'm actually gonna use this for homeschooling notes and ideas and then I'm going to use the middle one for seduced by simplicity as we organize and detox our house and then the last one is going to be for home projects so I'm really I mean look how cool is that isn't that the neatest thing so I, I had to buy that also I picked up a pack of the Bethany what is it Bethany Moda I've never seen these before but they are, let's see if I can, I don't have the moleskins here. They are basically an off-brand of the moleskin cahier notebooks. And they're the same size. Like, I actually compared them in Target because I was going for the moleskins because I needed them to refill my Chic Sparrow because this is going to be my business planner which I will also give you guys a sneak peek of that a little bit later or a flip through but yeah picked up these and these were only $5.99 versus I believe the moleskins are $14.99 I could be wrong but it's the pack it's a pack of three same size and I'm like yay was thrilled to find that because anytime I can save a penny I also picked up a new composition notebook. This is going to be for my morning rambles and brain dumps because you gotta get it all out. And I believe that is the only thing I can show you for Target. I did pick up some stuff for my children, but you'll have to wait for that once we start school so that I don't spoil any of the goodies. Okay, next is Jerry's Artorama, which if you guys have never been to a Jerry's Artorama, just as a warning, it's dangerous in there because they have so many amazing things. I was able to get out with only one bag, so yay me, and I 
steered clear of the watercolor crayons because if you guys have watched my other Jerry's Artorama video, which I will post a link to down below, you will know that I purchased a bunch of watercolor crayons and I love them. So I stayed away from that section. I almost got pulled into the oil pastels though, but I figured I have a whole bunch of like off brand. They're not amazing or anything, but I have them. So I could not justify spending more money. Okay, so first I got the Uhu glue stick. I don't know if I have shared with you guys, I have a favorite glue stick, but everyone keeps talking about this one. So I went ahead and got it to try it and see if it will convert me, but I'm not holding my breath. Okay, next I picked up some Jerry's white gesso because I was out. I needed gesso. And this was actually, um, it was like $7. So it was pretty inexpensive. I don't, you know, I'm not an artist. I don't paint canvases and sell them. It's purely for art journaling. And so the cheapest brand does what I need it to do. So I just went ahead and got the Jerry's brand. And I did pick up a pack of, this is, I'm really excited about this. This is the 100% cotton watercolor paper, 140 pounds, 25 sheets. And I am planning on, sorry about the glare. I am planning on doing a set of affirmation cards for myself and picking one every day. So once I get those together, I will share them with you guys. Lastly, which I, the purpose of going to Jerry's Artorama, the reason I went in the first place was to pick up a new sketchbook. Um, I don't know if I showed you all, if I had, it would have been a long time ago, but I have, let me grab it real quick. It's right here. I did this one in 2014 and I call it my yearbook because it actually runs the span of a school year. I started it in September, 2014 and it ended in May. So I also put, this is volume one. I did not do one for this past year, but this is the art journal slash inspiration book slash vision book, whatever you want to call it. This is the one I go back and look at the most. And so because of that, I decided that's what I'm going to do again this year. So I picked up another sketchbook and this will be, this will start now and run through the new school year. And the thing I love about this one, this is the reflections one. It is the eight and a half by 11, 80 sheets, but look, it has a pen holder and it has this amazing, which those of you who know me know that I am in love with little, the little strap on any journal. Like it's, I'm totally like in love with it. So I'm going to be diving into this today more than likely. And I was really thrilled to find it. So if you guys have a Jerry's Artorama near you, I highly recommend going. And this company, Reflections, I've used them before, specifically for a mandala, uh, mandala journal. They have so many different sizes. They have, I think, two sizes bigger than this one. And then they have two or three that are smaller, all with the band, or you can get them spiral without the band. So if you guys are interested in a new art journal, go check out Jerry's Artorama. And no, I am not being paid to say that. This is all just me um, giving you a little show and tell. Okay, that's it. I will keep you guys posted on how I'm using these tools. And I will let you know about my book coming out next week. And once my curriculum gets here, I will show you guys what we'll be using for this new homeschool year. All right. Talk with you later.